You can either decide to make that change now or you can wait for everything to completely fall apart in life, right? And this is the thing. A lot of us, right, and I myself was someone that did this as well, right? I waited for everything to fall apart in my life before I made the initial change to, you know, become a better man, be that man I always needed, right? Take self-improvement seriously in all aspects. And I had everything snatched from me, bro. I had everything fucking snatched from me, right? I didn't just live a normal life, okay? I, I lived a life that was based around addictions, instant gratification. And let me tell you something, man. I did this for, you know, 10 years of my life, bro. I was consistently indulging in shameful behaviors, bro. You know, I kept feeling shame and guilt over and over again. And I ignored that inner voice, bro, right? And as I kept ignoring that inner voice, what happened was it kept, you know, it kept calling me, bro. It was saying, look, what you're doing is wrong, right? You're going to have to pay the price. And I just kept pushing my boundaries, pushing my boundaries. Yeah. And I just consistently kept doing that. As a result, it got to breaking point, right? And when I say breaking point, my mental health was completely in a downward spiral, bro, right? And that's what I'm saying. When you keep ignoring that voice, it might not hit you straight away, bro, right? Your, your mental health, but you'll get to a point when I say breaking point, that means your mental health is completely declined, right? Your, if you look at the frequency chart, it's a feeling of you know, shame and guilt and under shame and guilt is death, right? So it's sort of like you're very close to walking around dead. And I was like that, bro. I was walking around. I felt dead, bro. I felt like I didn't belong. I felt like I was cheating life. I was, you know, angry. I had a lot of resentment and they're clear indications, bro, that you have poor mental health, right? And the reason why it got to that stage is because, you know, we always push our boundaries, right? We ignore that inner voice. And when you ignore that inner voice, bro, you've got to understand that you must pay the price, okay? Whether it hits you now or later, it doesn't matter, bro. It's, you're going to have to end up paying the price, so what I'm trying to convey with this video is more or less that don't wait for everything to be snatched from you, bro. Don't wait for everything to fall apart in your life, right? Don't wait for your physical body to fall apart. Don't wait for your mental health to fall apart before you decide to make that change and do what's right. Because look, you're watching this video. It's a self-improvement channel. So you obviously want to, you know, self-improve. You want to become a better person and... I'm only telling you by experience, right? By all the things that I've learnt in when it comes to, you know, ruining your mental health, right? And ruining your physical health. That's something that I did for many years, bro. I ignored that inner voice. It got to a point one day where I just didn't feel like living anymore because that that regret, that inner voice, the guideline that I had talking to me, right? Each and every time I felt like shit after indulging in, you know, drugs and alcohol and women and all these things, bro. It got to breaking point where I was just fucking miserable, bro, right? I, I didn't have any purpose in life. I couldn't think clearly. I didn't have any mental clarity, bro, because I kept hovering around, you know, shame and guilt, which is the lowest frequency, bro. And as I kept doing that, as a byproduct, my mental health completely collapsed, bro. And as I said, I got to a point where, you know, I was at breaking point where I lost a lot of things in life, bro, right? You see me now in front of the camera, totally different person, right? I had to put in work to get here, but more or less, the old me who was living a miserable and addiction lifestyle, right? I had to pay the price, bro, right? And the thing is, bro, you might not have any, you know, physical items snatched from you, but more or less, when you have your mental health taken from you, bro, when your mental health is fucking zero, right? Because you kept ignoring that inner voice, you're going to have to pay the price, bro, okay? And I was fortunate enough to be in a position in my life where 
I started to do everything I could to become the person you see today in front of the camera, right? Because I honestly wanted to end everything, bro. I wanted to take the easy way out. You know, I was, you know, indulging in selfish behaviors for so many years that I just couldn't live with myself, bro, right? And that was a sign of very poor mental health because I hated everything around me. I hated what I saw in the mirror, right? And that was my breaking point, bro. My breaking point was me wanting to take my fucking life, right? And what I'm saying is you might be in a position right now. And I used to think this too, bro. When I was in the earlier stages of my addictions, when everything was just fun and games, I didn't give a fuck. I was just literally, you know, living life for what it was. And I had no real future ambitions, right? I knew I wanted to be something great, but I didn't know what it was. And I was like, I'll just figure it out, right? Nothing will happen to me. I'll be all right. I'll just stop doing drugs one day and I'll wake up and everything will be all right. No, it won't, bro. I'm telling you now, bro. Nothing will be all right, right? If you keep ignoring that inner voice, if you keep pushing the limits with your mental health and you just keep doing things and you think, okay, nothing will happen to me. Big reality call is going to happen, bro. Big reality check. You're going to wake up one fucking day going, where the fuck did time go? How did I lose back, lose all this fucking time? And no one actually will be there, bro. No one will give a fuck, bro. Right. We all generally wait for things to go wrong, right? My body was fucking collapsing, bro. Cause I kept abusing it with drugs and not getting the right sleep, not getting the right nutrition, eating junk food, all this shit that was just fucking me up, right? I ignored that, bro. And as a byproduct, I couldn't function properly, right? I couldn't think properly. I didn't have good energy levels. I couldn't make good decisions, bro, right? And I kept making more wrong and wrong and wrong choices in life. And as I kept doing that, God humbled me and kept giving me always, you know, negative outcomes, bro, that would come my way. And... I just fucking hated life, bro, right? And as I said, it got to a point where I just wanted to end fucking everything because that was easier. But I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit, bro. Fuck this weak talk. I'm going to do everything in my power. Now that I've destroyed everything, I need to change everything, right? I started to become fucking grateful, bro. I started to become grateful for the simple things in life, right? I was someone who was very materialistic before. I loved, you know, materialistic possessions, all these things, right? But that defined who I was. And deep down inside, when I would, you know, be by myself, I fucking hated what I saw in the mirror, bro. And I know you're fucking feeling the exact same feelings, right? You may put on a front and that's what's called, that's what's called, you know, putting on a mask, right? To your circle of friends or when you go out in public, you know, you act like everything's all right. You might be on social media being, you might even... You know, try and act like everything's cool. But deep down, bro, I understand you're fucking hurting deep down, right? You hate what you see in the mirror. You hate who you've become as a person because you're wearing this mask. You're living a double life, bro, right? And I know a lot of people like this too, bro. They wait for their bodies to completely fall apart. They wait for their mental health to completely go downwards, right? And then they seek help, right? And I was fortunate enough to bounce back from all the shit I put myself through, bro, throughout 10 years of fucking abusing drugs and living life as a complete degenerate, right? I was so grateful that I could turn things around and Everything started to change in my life as I became grateful, bro. As I became grateful for all the simple things in life. Having a roof over my head, having access to food, having, you know, a bed. All these things, bro. All these things, we take life for fucking granted, bro. Especially here in, in the Western world countries, we take life for granted, right? We just indulge in more and more pleasure-seeking behaviors. And as a byproduct you pay for it with your mental health, bro. And that's something if, for those that have been through real life fucking trauma, you will understand what I'm saying. For those that are like, you know, in the midst or, or you know, going through their addictions right now, but they feel like, you know, oh, it's, it's not bad. It's not really affecting my life. I'm telling you now, bro, you're going to watch this video one day. If you decide to get to breaking point, you're going to be like, fuck, I should have listened to Dimmy. He was right. Okay. I'm only sharing 
my own experience to help you change and make the right decision now, right? I'm not getting any fucking benefit from this video other than trying to inspire someone else to not let everything fall apart in their lives and then make the change. Because I'll tell you something, bro, it is fucking difficult when you get everything taken away from you, bro. There's only certain people that could fucking actually do this, bro. You requ it requires a lot of mental strength to bounce back, to go from pretty much walking dead, low mental health, right? Insecurities, you know, anxiety, depression. Do you want all those things to hit you all at once and then go, hmm, maybe I should change now, right? That's fucking breaking point, bro. When you're at your all time lowest and you don't want to be here anymore, right? You don't want to be here. And the sad thing is, bro, those that haven't got that mental fight in them, right? They end up just ending their lives, bro, because life just feels easier. It's always easier just to take the easy way out, right? Let's be honest. But you must become responsible, bro, of what you've done to yourself, right? You must think of it logically and go, you know what? I've put my body through and my mind through a lot of stress, right? I've hurt myself. I no longer love myself anymore. I don't, and as a byproduct, those around me are hurting as well, right? And when you look at it like that and you think, fuck, if I keep going like this, man, I know I won't be able to have the mental capacity to move forward, right? That's when you're a breaking point and that's when you need to completely put everything in your power bro i'm saying you might need to even take off work when you get to breaking point bro and you might need to you know take a good solid six months off bro before you can start to make the change of becoming a new person that's what i'm saying not everyone has that mental fight in them to do that and that's why you said you know men take their lives bro right not many people talk about these fucking topics of bad mental health but you know what i don't give a fuck bro i've been through it myself and it's only fair for me to fucking talk about it because i've been through it right and let me tell you bro i've been walking around dead for many fucking years right so the person you see now i had to do a lot of fucking work to get to where i'm at to bring my mental health back up bro and because i've seen a snippet of being that low in life right very close to ending everything I make conscious decision, decisions now to make the right choices in life, bro, to be that person, be that man I always needed, bro, be that role model, right? But unfortunately, some of you guys here, you know, going through these mental health problems, right, and, and not looking at the bigger picture, you don't have the mental strength within you to fight back when everything falls apart, bro. So that's why... I'm here, that's why the video you're watching right now is put in front of you for a reason, right? It's put in front of you so you can learn from my mistakes, bro, okay? I'm telling you, this is a very, very serious topic, right? There's no cap to this shit. You must understand that the addictions that you're indulging in right now, bro, all the instant gratification that's deteriorating your mental health, right? You making the wrong choices in life, you having, you know, poor mental health, you receiving nothing but shit in your life consistently, right? And you wonder, fuck, why do I keep, you know, you have that victim mindset, bro, right? You have that victim mindset where you start feeling sorry for yourself, but you must be responsible because you've done this to yourself, bro, right? You've done this to yourself. I did that consistent pleasure chasing for 10 years to myself. So I thought when I got to fucking breaking point, bro, when I wanted to end my life, I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. That's the easy way out, right? What's I did this to myself. I became responsible, bro. I took accountability for my life and I did everything in my fucking power within 12 months, right? To change to the person you see today, bro, right? It wasn't fucking easy. I'll tell you that. It required a lot of work. That's why I'm saying some of you might not have the mental capacity to deal with it when everything goes, when everything hits you in the fucking head, right? When your mental health is fucking low. So that's why I say, bro, don't wait for everything to get snatched from you. Don't wait for everything to fall apart in your life before you decide to make that change. If you're going through addictions with amphetamines right now, 
drop that fucking shit, bro. That shit's going to rob you, bro. It's going to rob everything inside you, yeah? If you're going through addictions with weed, right? And you're, it's your safety net, your blanket to give you that inner happiness, right? And you're not happy with who you see in the mirror. You're not happy at the person or you're not happy with the person you've become. Drop that shit, bro. If you're drinking after work, if you're drinking every day, if you're drinking on the weekend, continuously going clubbing, wanting to fill that empty void in your life, bro, like I did, drop that fucking shit, bro, right? Because it's robbing you of your full potential as a man. It's robbing your mental health, bro. You don't realize this, right? Because a lot of us will just, you know, work Monday to Friday and we're like, we had a busy week. So you'll start indulging in drugs, right? And then what's going to happen is you're going to keep doing that, keep doing that. You're going to keep operating from low frequency. You're going to keep depreciating your mental health, right? And you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, where the fuck did time go, bro? Because one thing you can't get back in this life, bro, is time. And that's why I decided, you know, because I fucking went all in into you know, shameful acts, bro, in my 20s that when I got to my 30s, I was like, fuck, man, I lost a lot of time, bro, and I can't get this shit back. That's why right now my mindset is fucking bulletproof, bro, because I've gone all in, right, into self-improvement. I've gone all in into bettering myself as a man, becoming finally that man I always needed, right? And I take this shit very fucking serious because the only thing I can do now, bro, is I can look at it like this. I can either look back and go, fuck, man, I lost all this time, right? And start feeling down. Or I can be like, you know what? Fuck it. It's happened. I lost all this time. Now what I can do is make myself a fucking absolute warrior, right? And show up for myself each and every day, right? Through my daily habits and help others, bro, who are not so fortunate, right? And that's what it's all about, bro. It's about bringing us men together, bro, and helping each other out, right? Because, you know, each of us have our own story, bro. Each of us have our own destructive path that we're going through, right? My story will be different to your story. However, it, at the end of the day, mental health is mental health. And when you don't take that shit serious, right, and you ignore that side because I had no one to fucking tell me this, bro, when I was growing up. I had no one to say, hey, bro, look, the way you're going, if you keep doing this, bro, you're going to end up getting to a point where everything's going to get snatched from you. And when it gets to that stage, bro, I hope you're mentally ready to pull yourself out of the shit that you've created, right? I needed that fucking person, bro. I needed that big brother. I needed that role model to come into my life and just shake me, bro, and just be like, you need to fucking stop this now, bro. But I had no one, bro. I had no one in my life to fucking tell me. And it's fine, bro, because I'm grateful for everything that's happened in my life, right? I, I took responsibility because I did this to myself. It's self-inflicted at the end of the day, right? No one's going to fucking feel sorry for you, bro, right? You must understand that what you've done is, you know, all or how you're feeling right now is a consequence of all the choices that you've made in your life, right? You can't blame anyone but yourself, right? And there's no point of consistently having that negative self-talk, right? You can just look at it like this. You can look at it like, you know what? I've done this to myself, right? I've created this life that I don't love anymore, right? I hate who I see in the mirror. I'm sick of operating through shame and guilt, you know, having those consistent hangovers the next day. I'm sick of this shit, bro, right? And you can decide to change, bro, then and there, right? You can use that as fucking fuel to become the person, become the man you always needed. So that's what I'm saying, bro, when you are going through your addictions right now, right? I understand I've been there myself, right? But don't push the fucking boundaries, bro. Don't push your limits with your body, right? Physically and mentally, don't fucking push it. That's the number one thing I want you to take away from this is what goes up must come down, right? And please take that saying very seriously because as I said, bro, if you wanna keep pushing the boundaries, it's on you, right? But I'm being that role model, I'm coming into your life. This video's hit, this video has, you know, 
transcended to you for a reason, right? It's transcended to you so you can be like, you know what, fuck this. I don't want to be like Dimmy. I don't want to make the same mistakes that he did, right? Because he's obviously, you know, had everything snatched from him, right? And it took a lot of fucking mental fortitude to bounce back, bro, into the person you see today. So I don't want you to fucking go through that. I don't want my worst enemy to go through that, right? And that's why this video is here as that person that's walked that destructive path, bro, and ignored that inner consciousness for 10 years and it got to breaking point where I want to end my fucking life, right? But you don't have to go through that. You don't have to go through that. Don't wait for everything to fall apart. Start to give yourself the love it needs, bro. Start to work on your weaknesses, all the things that you're struggling with right now, whether it's addictions, whether it's whatever it might be, right? You have to be honest and you have to be like, you know what? I'm addicted right now, okay? Or I've got, you know, very bad habits right now and I'm going to do everything in my power to change this, right? Because I'm in a position now mentally where I can either make the change easier or I can wait for everything to fall apart, right? And when you make that change now from an easier standpoint, trust me, bro, you're going to feel the changes of becoming that better person. You're going to elevate your frequency. You're going to go from shame and guilt, from feeling, you know, guilty, all these things, bro, resentment, anger, and then you're going to boost yourself up to like self-love, you know, peace, enlightenment. This is where you truly feel fulfilled as a man. And when you're in that position, bro, you get to help those around you, bro, right? You get to help those around you. And that's when you start to like fall in love with yourself through your daily habits, through your daily actions of constructing that person, right? But it's not going to change if you just sit there and do nothing, bro. You must work on all your weaknesses, all the things that you're struggling with right now, you must get to work and work on them, right? So if you were to ask me, how did I get myself out of this rut? I'll be open and honest with you, bro. This might sound very straightforward to you and you might think I'm, I'm bluffing, but I'll tell you honestly, bro, when I had everything fucking snatched from me, when I was at breaking point, when I wanted to end my life, right? I honestly had to work on all my weaknesses. And what that meant was I had to stop indulging in all the bad behaviors I was doing, bro, right? So I pretty much wrote down on a piece of paper all the things that weren't serving me, bro, all the things that were contributing to my poor mental health, right? For me, operating through shame and guilt, all these things that were, you know, hindering my abilities of becoming the man I always needed, I had to work on those things, bro. So if it was, let's say, you know, when I had drug addictions, I had to, you know, stop all contact with, you know, dealers. I had to get the drugs out of my life. I looked at who the fuck my friends were in my life, right? And then I was like, fuck, man, I actually only have a few good friends. Other than that, most of the people I have in my life are not the right people for me, bro. They don't align with where I want to go, right? So I had to cut them out. Now, I looked at my nutrition it was fucking shit bro i kept eating junk food i kept eating desserts all these things which would then affect my emotional well-being right and i had to change that so i completely changed my diet i seeked i got the right help i got a coach i fucking transformed my my physique right within that period like this period took me up to 12 months bro i'll be dead set honest with you because I let myself go for 10 years, bro. It took me up to 12 months to transform into the person you see today, right? That's what I'm saying, bro. Don't let everything fall apart. You can do this shit earlier, bro. You don't have to fucking take 12 months to become the person you need, bro. If you're in a position where you've got these addictions, but if you're not at breaking point, you, could, you must make the change now, bro, where it's easier to develop yourself. You can do it in a shorter amount of time is what I'm saying, right? But other than that, bro, yeah, I had to change my nutrition. I had to completely have a fitness routine, right? And it had to be goal orientated where I was, had to strip all the fat, all the fat that I put on my body. I had to strip all that, right? So I had, you know, a coach to help me with that, bro. And then I got, you know, jacked within that 12 months. What else did I do? I 
started to you know read and learn skills bro right so i had to redevelop rewire my mind bro right because i hadn't book, picked up a book in like 15 years so i had to recon recreate my mind again bro i had to strengthen my mind yeah and get myself more educated with things right so i had to you know learn skills i enrolled in courses i had i did everything bro i did a full fucking 360 in this 12 months right I changed the times I woke up. I used to love sleeping in. I was like, fuck that, man. I'm going to try waking up early. I, I woke up early and I fucking loved it, bro. I started to meditate because I could never be present. I was never present in conversations. I was never present day by day. I was always looking at too far into the future or too far into the past, bro. And that started to mentally fuck with me, right? So I did meditation. I started to enjoy being out in nature, right? I started to become grateful, bro. And as you become grateful with just the basic things in life, started to journal, you know, all my thoughts, everything like that. That's when I was able to just take each day, right? For what it was and just put in maximum effort into each and every day, bro. And I just kept fucking doing that. I stopped looking at how long this was going to take, right? Because everyone's just so attached on the end result, right? But I didn't do that, bro, because I fucked my body up for that long. I was like, I'm in this for the long haul. However long this took, this takes, sorry, I'm in it, bro, right? And, you know, after two, three, three months, things started getting better, bro. I started strengthening my mind. I started looking different in the mirror. I started feeling more healthier, right? All these things, bro. And that's when I was like, fuck, okay, cool. If this is this at three months, let's keep pushing it. So I kept pushing it three turned to six months, six turned to nine. And I just fucking just turned into an absolute fucking beast, bro, that you see today in front of the camera, right? So main message I want you to take from this, you can try and implement the stuff that I just mentioned, right? That helped me on my journey, you know, from someone that was walking around with the worst fucking mental health, right? to what you see now in front of you, someone who's able to inspire you and, you know, give you my, my advice from my past failures, right? Please take this serious and, you know, make that change today. As I said, you might not be in a really bad circumstance right now because, you know, you might have your shit mentally sort of together, but then you're sort of, you know, indulging in your bad behaviors, but, you know, bro, that inner voice that talks to you, that feeling of regret after you've done what you did and you no longer seek pleasure from it, right? That's that inner voice telling you, hey man, you really need to fucking change things. Don't ignore that fucking inner voice, right? Just, I know, just, I wanna let you know to each and every one of you, I love each and every one of you guys, right? If there's anything mentally that you're going through right now, right, and you're struggling with it, reach out to me, bro, right? Reach out to a brother who's been there and that's walked that path before. You can reach out to me on Instagram, send me a private message, or you can even drop it down in the comments and share your story, right? And your story will also impact someone else, right? So look, you're new to my channel, you like this content, just raw, unedited content, straight to the camera, speaking out, you know, speaking from my heart, hit the subscribe button, man. It really helps me keep making more valuable content and yeah if you like the video give it a like other than that look if you know someone also that's going through bad mental health right now that's going through addictions a friend a family member right someone you might know someone from your work share this video with them bro it's definitely going to help someone open them up open their eyes right because i've walked that path they'll be able to resonate with what i'm saying but look man ending the video here have a blessed and beautiful day stay strong and i'll see you in the next video peace